Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. Today we are doing some fun stuff with the GTI. Uh, we are going to be throwing a stage 2 EQC tune on it. I have been wanting to go stage 2 on the car since I bought it two years ago. Uh, the two year mark will be in January, so. I'm still waiting on the downpipe to get here, but uh, while that is on its way, it should be here at literally any minute. But I am going to prepare. I'm going to take my GB1 out of it. This thing has served me well for $400. If you guys don't know or haven't seen my video, um, this is a Burger Motorsports JB1. They also make the JB4. The JB1 is just a stage one tune. Um, you can change the maps if you have, I think it's this little wire. Um, I never used it. This was just optioned on mine. I didn't even want this option. So, and I'm gonna be honest with you guys. If you don't want to do much to your car, um, these JB1s and JB4s are awesome. Uh, like I said, only 400 bucks. And I can put a picture up right now. I actually got the car dynoed on like one of those mobile dyno jets just for fun. Uh, literally had nothing. Just, just the tuner. Uh, made 250 two and 321 torque so for that much of a gain with just this like I didn't have plugs I didn't have my turbo inlet pipe I like nothing like just the JB1 and I got that much of a gain from stock um, so nothing to complain about but as the saying goes I want more <laughs> and just a quick note I know I don't really talk about the GTI often because I've been doing a lot of GS content recently which more is coming I'm just waiting on some stuff and a couple things, I actually got the car sponsored by O34 Motorsports, or 034, or 34, whatever you want to call it. I got it sponsored by them. Um, so, I'm going to be doing a lot more suspension stuff on this car a lot sooner than I expected. I already have their Dynamic Plus ball joints and their Campster uh, coilover plates. So, definitely subscribe if you guys are interested in seeing some of that stuff on the GTI. I'm also going to be doing a lot more Turbo GS stuff coming soon. I have a GT500 MAF that I'm going to put on it and then I need to get some other little things. we got to take the JB1 out now because I'm not going to need it anymore. Um, if you guys want kind of a more in-depth video on the JB1, I did make a video on it. It actually just passed a thousand views recently, so thank you on that. But um, yeah, I'm going to take this out real quick and then uh, and then we'll go from there. Alright, the top's all done. Gotta get to the one underneath. I gotta take off the windage tray. Um, but man, I need to wash my engine bay. Alright, so we got the JB1 out. The car is essentially back to stock, um, except for the turbo inlet pipe and the K&N uh, filter, which gives me about 15 horsepower. So I'm actually just gonna go do a quick third gear pull. I already did it with the JB1 on, and I'm gonna do it now with stock, and I'll play them both here. Uh, that way you guys can kind of get an idea of how they are. Um, and then once I put the stage two map in i'll obviously show you guys the third gear pull then you guys can just kind of see how it improves also sorry if the video is a little too shaky of the third gear pull especially with the one with the jb1 um it's just me recording and driving um on a close course of course So after another day of waiting, I just got home from work. It's finally here. Now this is a four inch track slide downpipe. Now there is a few reasons as to why I got this. Um, and before you people jump to conclusions and say, oh, it's too big for your IS-20. Well, the angle isn't an IS-20, it's a Vortex XL. So I'm gonna spend the money now <laughs> on, on one downpipe and I'm just gonna get this because it'll still help with the exhaust gas. Um, keep that a little bit cooler than if I had a three inch, but you know, the IS-20 only can uh, do so much. And so this does come from overseas if you're in the United States. So if you guys are worried about the packaging, don't be. Um, there was so much cardboard over this thing that there was no way it was going to get dented. Um, so if that's one of your guys' concerns, don't even let it be a concern. All right, so we're going to start from the top. The first things we're going to tackle uh, is the V-band Allen right here and then this uh, O2 sensor cord. The O2 sensor cord, you're just literally going to slide out from here. Um, these couple of spots that the wire is holding in and then just undo the plug. And then, yeah, just this Allen. Uh, we're going to take this bolt out, uh, expand the clamp, and then slide it off. I literally just got drive done driving this like 30 minutes, 45 minutes ago, so everything still has some pretty good heat to it, but... <laughs> I am so excited and so antsy to get this done. So I hit it with some PB blaster while it's still hot, or while it was still hot, and I can just, <laughs> I can do that by hand. I don't even need the thing out there a couple turns. 
Aw, yeah, and the V-Bend's breaking off. Everything else is gonna be under the car. I'm gonna show you guys what you're gonna need to take off and then I'm just gonna end up doing it because it's kind of hard to have a shot um, like with this camera and also just on this setup. Um, it's just hard to record underneath. So, especially with it being dark. So there's this axle cover. You're gonna take off both of these 13s. And then up here, I know in this video, this shot, it's really hard to see, but there is a downpipe bracket I think that's one of the nuts right there, but you gotta take a nut off there, and there's one on the other side. I think it's that guy. Um, but you take those off, your downpipe will then be loose, and then it should be able to come off the V-band up there. And then you're gonna take off these two bolts for this hanger, and then just leave this on and the, uh, on the stock downpipe until you get it off the car. There's this little sleeve that holds the cap back and the downpipe together. You're gonna go ahead and take those two 13s, you're gonna loosen them. Uh, you're going to slide it back towards the cat back and then it will free this back part of the downpipe. You might have to take this bar off too. Um, I'm probably going to just to help with the space. It's only four thirteens. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to get started and then we'll be able to put the new one in. Okay, so just wanted to check in with you guys real quick. I got the downpipe, uh, like the cat, oh, <laughs> got the cat bracket off. Um, it's a third area. It's a 13 using a wrench like a ratcheting wrench gonna be the best idea for this um, Just it gives you a lot better leverage and it's just hard to fit a socket in there So I'm telling you you will have the easiest time using this instead of trying to fit a ratchet in a socket up there Gross All right, here's the stock next to the track slag like look at how that just elbows just so so rough and then that oh I'm so excited this is gonna sound awesome I still do have a stock cat back um so it's not gonna be dumb loud but it's definitely gonna gain a lot of a lot of volume and guys I do want to say that it took me about 15 maybe 20 minutes to take this downpipe out it's it's not super challenging at all it's like the hardest part probably is getting that cat bracket and then also uh, just wiggling the stock cat out just a bit of a fight but it's not that bad <laughs> all right so got the downpipe on um i have the whole exhaust essentially mocked up i have all the hangers on everything is attached um i left everything loose though because i'm gonna start with the v-band and work my way back that way i don't have any leaks from up here because if i'm tightening from the back up to the front it could offset something um these downpipes, I mean like most of you band downpipes, they sit right in and they have like a perfect fitment, like a sandwich fitment. So you shouldn't have to worry about that too much, but you know, just want to be sure. And I don't know, as you guys remember from the beginning of the video, but the but the V-band, the clamp, um, it was facing backwards. And you know, I had to get it out with it facing this way, but now I have it in so it'll be facing this way. Just so it makes my life a little... Okay, I, I got it, <laughs> but just as I was saying, it'll make my life a little bit easier in the future. Um, so yeah, let's get started putting everything back, and then uh, start it up. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So not even an hour later and we are all done with the track slide downpipe install. I'm so excited, I'm about to load my tune up. But let me give you guys a quick look underneath on what it looks like. So down here, you only have one of the mounts that your old downpipe would be using, the stock one. Um, so you only use one of those now. And because I still am stock cat back, I got the uh, the little adapter. So it's a 15 and then I still have the two 13s. I flipped that band around so it's easier to get to those 13s right there. So earlier I went and did some driving. Um, I'm gonna take you guys on a little drive right now. I did some pulls just to make sure everything was okay and everything was feeling okay because I was like double checking the access port. Um, and it's nice. I, I enjoy this downpipe. Like honestly, please spend your money on good products. Like you will notice it immediately. Like 
this is, I'm here, I'm roll the windows up. Like, this is just driving normal. I'm not in sport mode. Like, you don't even, you can't even tell. Like, I still have the stock cap back, but you can't even tell that I have a downpipe on right now. Like, it's awesome, and then once I have it in sport mode, it gets all poppy, and it will, it'll, once it's under, like, wide open throttle, it, it rips. Like, she, she scoots. Like, now it's in sport mode. All right, listen. Like it's like one of the things I was wondering is how is the drone because there's not a lot of YouTube videos out and the drone is non-existent like there is no drone um, like when I put it back in a drive and I'm just cruising there, there's zero drone I'll put some sound clips in this video I'll make a whole other video dedicated to just the exhaust on this because once again you know there's just not a lot for all this track slag stuff um, so so yeah, I'll put some in right now, and uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys will stick around for more of the GTI build, uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video.